Hello and welcome to Prince Civil Services YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Sanchit and today's topic is a current affairs based topic that is Bharat Gaurav scheme. So we are going to discuss this scheme and before I start this video, I would like to stress on this point that from civil services exam perspective, the schemes are very important. So this is one such scheme which can be asked. So please pay attention to various schemes launched by the government of India or the state governments. So let's start this video and as we follow our pattern, we will discuss why we are discussing this topic or why in news. So recently what happened, Indian Railways Southern Zone recently flagged off country's first privately run train under Bharat Gaurav scheme. So what is the news? So Indian Railways Southern Zone launched or flagged off India's first privately run train. Earlier what happened that only the government of India under the Indian Railways used to run the trains. But now what is happening under this scheme that private, private entities can also run this scheme. So we are going to discuss the Bharat Gaurav scheme. And to add on this news, this train run on a track of from Coimbatore to Shirdi. So this is the news and now we will discuss the main topic that is the scheme that is Bharat Gaurav scheme or the policy. So back way back in November 2021 the Indian Railways launched this scheme and what is the main motto of this scheme that now private player or private entities they can operate the trains and on what circuit, on what tracks, only theme based circuits. So private players and they can operate the trains on theme based circuits only. So this is the major crux of this policy. Private players are allowed to run trains on only theme based circuits. We will discuss what are these theme based circuits. Now what is the motive, what is the objective of this scheme? So India is a having a rich heritage and culture. So the objective is to showcase India's rich cultural heritage and magnificent historical places to people of India and through Bharat Gaurav trains. So scheme or the policy is Bharat Gaurav scheme and what the objective is to showcase India's heritage to the people of the India as well as the people of the world through Bharat Gaurav train. This is important. Bharat Gaurav is a scheme where there is an objective and so on and under that scheme trains will be run by private operators and those trains are known as Bharat Gaurav trains and recently it was flagged off. So this is the objective. Now we will go into the details of the scheme. Through this policy, now the operator that is the private entities, they have the right of use right of use that they can use the infrastructure, the coaches, the trains, the rakes of Indian railways. And before this, this operation, the catering and so on was under the purview of IRCTC. You must have heard about this IRCTC. So this is Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation. But now under this scheme on specific theme based circuits, private operators or private players or private entities, they can have the right of use, the infrastructure, the coaches, the rakes and so on. So this is the crux of this scheme which was launched in November 2021. Now, details of the scheme further, the private players and tour operators, now what they can do, can do is, they can procure trains that is they can ask the Indian Railways that we want to run on this track the trains please provide us the coaches but this is all on lease that is on rent so they can ask the coaches the trains for to be uh, denoted to them on lease and they can operate them on any circuit wherever they want to run so they can also decide the fares what should be the price of the ticket they can also decide the routes and the quality of the services. So this is the freedom given to the private operators. Before this, 
there was only indian railways and through irctc the things were run but now onwards under this scheme private operators private entities tour operators they can decide what route they should run the train how to operate what should be the fares and so on now this uh, lease facility is for minimum of 2 years so if a tour operator wants to participate in this scheme the so minimum duration is of 2 uh, two years and the maximum is the coder life of the coach the life of the coach they can have the maximum time period so i already told you decide the route decide the halt the services the tariff and so on so this is the crux of this scheme now i already told you that there are some theme based tourist circuits because this scheme this is the bharat gaurav scheme is to be run for those special theme based circuits now what is this theme based tourist circuits so we have savdesh darshan scheme the government of india has started a scheme now under this we have got some circuits which are related with some personality or some religion or have some ecological uh, factors environmental factors so we have got buddha circuit coastal circuit sufi circuit rural tribal and so on and there are other also so ramayana circuit and so on there are very famous buddha circuit jain circuit and so on so these are the circuits where trains can be run but in bharat gaurav there are other circuits which can participate also so this is the scheme now who operates this first gaurav train bharat gaurav train why we are discussing this topic because recently southern zone of indian railways flagged off a train now who is the operator south star rail is the registered service provider so a uh, bit of factual information but yeah you should know who ran the india's first bharat gaurav train now we have seen that the operator is participating and indian railways is there now what is the role of indian railways under this policy what type of services are will be provided by the indian railways so simply it will provide the staff to drive the trains drivers will be still the indian railways drivers so drive the trains guards and also maintenance staff on board so this still will be the indian railways staff but other staff like housekeeping and catering the provision of the food the housekeeping and so on they will be deployed by the operator only the private operator only so the indian railways is going to provide the drivers the guards the maintenance staff and so on but other facilities like housekeeping the catering facilities they will be provided by the operator only so this is the crux of this scheme that is the bharat gaurav scheme and under that scheme we are having the bharat gaurav trains recently such one such train was flagged off in the southern zone so that is why i took up this topic i hope the topic the scheme is clear once more i will stress that whenever you start preparing for civil services please put extra efforts regarding the schemes and the other stuff of the government so that was today's video i hope you like this video so please follow our channel prince civil services you can follow us on instagram and facebook also so thanks for watching keep learning and keep watching the videos thank you